It is no exaggeration to say that Christian statesmen created the United States of America. Now, our Muslim friends also believe in a creator God. But it's important that our next president understand that Christians and Muslims do not worship the same God. I believe it's important that we have a president who understands that Islam is not a religion of peace, but a religion of war and violence and death. Every single mosque in America is a potential recruiting or training cell for Islamic terror. We need a president who understands that the greatest long-range threat to our security and liberty is not radical Islam, but Islam itself. This is not, this is not Islamophobia. This is Islamorealism. I believe our next president needs to understand that the more devout a Muslim becomes, the more likely he is to act on one of those 109 verses. That means the more devout a Muslim becomes, the more of a threat he becomes to our national security. Now, of course, there are many moderate Muslims. Most Muslims in America have no intention of acting out on any one of those 109 commands. But we must understand that while there may be moderate Muslims, there is no such thing as moderate Islam.